Yeah. What are the main uh, issues in business ethics? What is important? How, how to recognize uh, business ethics, good practices in running business? Of course, uh, one of uh, some very important things, of course, is business philosophy. If you open some, some kind of uh, website of the organization, first, uh, what you uh, uh, must to see, of course, is the business philosophy. What, uh, what is business philosophy? Of course, it's business philosophy consists from the several parts. It's, it's uh, organization, uh, mission, vision, and of course, values. Because every organization uh, uh, does something, and it must declare its values, its, its vision, its mission. If it does not declare, it, it means that it is a uh, very uh, short-term organization and it, it, it has no any obligation to society, to wider community. So the business philosophy is, uh, is the key for business ethics, declaring business ethics in, in private and even governmental sector. Of course, uh, the other thing is the code of ethics. It's very important. Uh, a code of ethics is uh, a list of rules, uh, principles, values, uh, its impl implementation conditions, how to implement uh, appropriate uh, sphere of ethical relations. And of course, uh, usually code of ethics refers to uh, good management, good of human resources, good management of uh, pro 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 uh, producing production, and so on. Of course, the uh, Code of Ethics also refers to rules of behavior. In the Code of Ethics, there are a lot of occasions when there, there are uh, defined rules of behavior. Behavior with the consumer, behavior with the colleagues in the organization, behavior with the partners. A, a lot of issues could be defined in the, in the Code of Ethics. Good practices. Of course, uh, good practices refers to uh, successfully implemented uh, projects. If you implemented uh, very good projects, socially very valued, successful, it should be shown on your website. It should be this information should should be, be spread. That shows that you you uh, you does a good work and you uh, you you are successful in business ethics. Donating, donating also very important. Uh, because uh, if you get a, if you get a, a lot of uh, benefit, if you get a lot of profit, it, it is important to to share your profit with the, with those who need uh, some help, need some money, need some resources. So it shows your responsibility, responsibility, social responsibility to the others who don't have opportunity to get to, to run business. Of course, keeping rules and laws. It's very important. Uh, it's, what is our attitude towards rules, towards uh, laws? Uh, I think that's the case in, uh, in living in democratic uh, conditions. Green buying policy and producing. Green buying and producing policies. Uh, green purch purch uh, purchases, another word saying that when you green buy, that, sh that means that uh, you buy the things which were, were reproduced and, uh, and it, it was uh, created using second-hand material. And this green buying policy is also very important, especially if we buy something for the, our offices or if, if we if buy something, some material, some equipment that was already used in the past, so we are, are preserving the nature in this way. And of course, policy of sustainability. Policy of sustainability, I think, uh, one of the most important in, in our days in the European Union. It, it uh, shows obligation to preserve nature, to preserve uh, uh, our activity in a good mean, and to benefit for, for the welfare of the others. So we, we see that uh, a policy of sustainability not concerns only, only preserving of nature, but it's doing good, doing good things to the others also.
médicos, a saúde de beleza também é um céu paradoxo. Vamos ver. Obrigada. Ah, bom, o próprio ponto é a melhor da Virgínia. Eu acho que vamos começar a falar sobre os tecnológicos, porque os médicos começaram a falar sobre os chemical aditivos em food. Então, eu gostaria de dizer algumas palavras sobre organic chemistry, because I am a teacher of uh, fundamentals of organic chemistry for KPR designers, so I'm interested in cosmetics, what it is made from. I am glad to have seen the two my students, and I know they really study organic chemistry, but I would like to ask nobody who study organic chemistry at this moment, who is studying. Can you raise the hand? <laughs> so I prepared maybe for audience uh, which is included in chemistry. So I don't know, if maybe it can be <laughs> difficult to understand, but I promise to skip some slides uh, where there's uh, some formula or everything. No, all students know the Yes. No, yes. So why I choose this? Theme. Because uh, nowadays everybody are a consumers of cosmetics. So I think it's to everybody interesting to know what it is made from and how we have to read labels on the containers of cosmetics and how we can have to choose what we can use or what we can not to use. So if we, I will take a seat, it will be even more comfortable for me. Uh, I, would, I would like to provide some statistics about cosmetics. And uh, because cosmetics is very wide area, I would like to concentrate in carefully here, here, here products. I would like to say some what, uh, how, how they are classified, and uh, what ingredients are under discussions. Uh, I will start from the history of the, on the second uh, common era age. Uh, the Greek physician made the first cream. It was named uh, cold cream and uh, he mixed what, rose water and olive oil with the help of uh, natural emulsifying beeswax. Uh, and this formula works good at these days. We can mix rose water and oil and uh, add in the emulsifier and uh, as a preservative we can use some drops of essential oils. Uh, uh, I think that the cosmetic industry is a part of chemical industry. And uh, a lot of substances uh, people like to use uh, all the URA. And they are natural, they are uh, plant origin, or they are received by chemical production. And in the European Union, 5 billion cosmetic product items are sold to a half a billion inhabitants. Statistics, statistics show that uh, a person usually uses about 25 cosmetic and hygiene products daily. And uh, these products contain about 200 various substances. Majority of them have direct impact to our skin and uh, usually we like to use uh, different sprays, especially hair sprays and they can be absorbed by our body. Uh, at this moment in Lithuania there are a lot of movements uh, against unhealthy food, against unhealthy cosmetics. I have some uh, uh, friends uh, which join uh, ecological movements and they try to make uh, cosmetics at home. They learn how to grow up children healthy and about 3% of all cosmetics in Europe, Europe are ecological cosmetics. Uh, 
Vakartas Cosmetics Industry is governed by the European Union's Cosmetic Directive. There are requirements how cosmetics have to be produced, how to all about safety and about labeling. Labeling requirements are pointed in this directive. Here you can see a cosmetic container and what beneficial information have to be pointed. In your uh, cosmetics container labels must list all ingredients in audience of predominance in weight and volume. And uh, they are named according INCI nomenclature. It means International Nomenclature for Cosmetics Ingredients. And uh, maybe you would like to use International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry nomenclature. The main groups of hair care products are antioxidants, conditioners, fragrances, hair colorants, hair oiling and brightening agents, preservatives, surfactants, thickeners, and others. There is some uh, definitions I will skip them. Uh, antioxidants, we can have uh, natural antioxidants, for example, vitamins or uh, uh, thing that, uh, for example, butylated hydroxyamazole, butylated hydroxytoluene, and others. And uh, you know that antioxidants have to stop oxidative process in cosmetics. Uh, in this photo, which you can see uh, how it looks uh, here if we clean with shampoo without conditioning and uh, cells are raised, they are torn away. And in this photo, the hair was uh, washed with high conditioning to in one shampoo. And uh, it is, uh, you can see minimal damage to the hair.